like this shit up YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, what's cracking? Um, man, we're here. We're checking out some street beefs at Hell on Wheels House, looking into a few of the title fights that uh, and tornado that will have going on uh, that will <laughs> have going son. on this weekend at Street Beefs. Of course, this little Jeremiah, he's always chilling, chilling. So we're gonna, you know, take a look at, of course, Turk and Baby Hawk. What's up, guys? And then you had uh, uh, dr uh, Dread, Dready uh, versus Rick, uh, Rico Rackley. Uh, Reckless Rico. Gotcha. So, so you'll have those. So um, we'll give a little bit of insight on that. Uh, we can also give uh, give Challenge Chance speak on anything you'd like to speak on from, from the last event, of course, at Rough and Rowdy, in which uh, he competed. So we'll give him a minute to, to, to speak on that, as well as, of course, what we have uh, upcoming at uh, Street Beefs on Saturday. Yes, sir. Uh, November 7th. Um, Challenge is set to be back uh, back on the docket at Street Beefs, as well as your man, Hell on Wheels. has already been pre-matched. Hell on Wheels Challenge. Uh, Chopper will be showing up. What's up, um, Sparkman? To, to okay. get some love. Sparkman, what's up? Always good to see uh, my man, Sparkman. Shout out to Sparkman. Absolutely, absolutely. Guys, Jesse Sparkman, please go to his I Facebook page. Uh, make sure you click that uh, donation link, man. Let's get this guy a sports chair so uh, so we can uh, we can get after it with uh, with that young man for sure. Um, Cause we're about that. So you know, I, I really do want to want to kick uh, high, high rolling with Hell on Wheels off with uh, just recapping with challenge about uh, about last last weekend's event there at Rough and Rowdy, um, and giving him a chance to say anything you'd like to say, and then we're gonna, uh, as we already have, put it behind us and move on to the next. Yes, sir. Um, I mean, there, there wasn't really much to say other than I felt like I underperformed because I underestimated the guy. I didn't do no research on the guy, but. It's not, I'm not trying to make it sound like excuses, but I would, if I get a rematch, uh, nothing, I don't, I won't lose twice. I won't let the same thing happen twice. Um, but now I got a full hit of steam. I mean, I'm ready to go in this weekend and hopefully get a matchup to maybe uh, MMA and boxing so I can get some frustration out. Um, other, other than that, uh, a loss is a loss. It's not, it's not the end of the world. You just gotta pick your head up and uh, keep moving forward. It's nothing, nothing to be down about. I'm still, I'm smiling. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be, but I'm smiling. I'm happy. Life is, life goes on. But I showed that I had heart. I got back up. A lot of people probably wouldn't have gotten back up. So, hey, I'm, I'm ready to come back and show what's up at Street Beefs, and hopefully, I get a call back at Rough and Rowdy. I'll show them what's up again. Absolutely. Uh, if anybody from Rough and Rowdy does follow us, uh, holler at us, man. Uh, we're ready to come back. I do understand there's a gentleman there uh, in a wheelchair that wanted to get a piece of hell on wheels. So you already know the answer to that question. Let's get it. Um, sorry if my eyes are going back and forth, man. I got some Iraqi assassin highlights playing in the background here. Uh, my man. A bunch of kicks. I -A, <laughs> baby, my -A, I -A, he's on it. Um, so, so you know, definitely check oh, that out. Shout out Iraqi Assassin as always, man. I know he's, uh, he's always watching the content and what have you. Yeah, so I mean, that's rough and rowdy in a nutshell, guys. Um, but I definitely feel like we're going to get another opportunity there. Um, hopefully, um, hopefully to be able to get the entire team on the card um, so that we can go out there full force with, with our coaching staff and, 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 and really uh, be prepared and ready to go. Um, but really, man, my sights are turned to Saturday. Um, I know for myself, Chopper. Uh, he called me out for the Hell on Wheels Challenge probably three months ago. Um, the date that I had set with him, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it. Uh, so we were able to reschedule. So uh, looking forward to going out there and mixing it up with Chopper. Much respect to Chopper, as always. Um, you know, he's got great length and uh, great power, and, and we'll see if and I'm able to do he, anything. He don't stop. Absolutely. Uh, you know, respect for days. Hopefully I'll be able to do something with him. Uh, should be a challenge. That was, that was a good uh, little highlight build that he had. It was, on. man. It was. They they definitely hooked up. Uh, they definitely hooked up the Iraqi assassin there on. Uh, you got a coin, brother? On the highlight reel. So we're looking for a coin, man. My man challenge is going to flip a coin. There's one out there in that old glass milk jug on the counter. It's my coin jar. 
Hey, man, always those old glass milk jugs, man, like the Amish style ones. I be getting those. You can keep all kinds of things in them. Um, but yeah, we're going to take a look at uh, Turk and Baby Hulk. Um, and then we'll take a look at the other title fight there with uh, Reckless Rico. And, and we'll get that rolling. Um, excited to have the great weather this weekend. Uh, projected to be around 70 degrees for November Street Beefs. I'll take that all day. I think last year, uh, November, man, we was out there like bundled up, froze to death. So, uh, 70 degrees in November, man, I'm about that all day, every day. It's on the counter at the very end of the counter, like where the plastic bags would be, like if you were packing school lunch. Yeah, 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 my legs, man, he's trying to figure things out, you feel me? Um. Man, huge shout out there. We had some Halloween going on. Uh, I don't know if you saw my, my man challenge there, a little uh, Joe Swanson Cleveland Brown deal there. Uh, drop in the comments, uh, who did you dress up as for Halloween? Um, we did not see a large amount of kids out trick or treating this year. Uh, probably, of course, due to COVID, man. Always uh, people trying to be out there and be safe. I'm about that. So I can hear the challenge has found the change jug. You can hear it rattling around now out there in the kitchen. He kind of left me high and dry in the middle of my own show here, man. I'm not really sure what to do. All right, all right. What's up? Uh, what do we got? All right. All right. So, which one do you want to try to predict first? No matter. You call yeah, it. You call it. Um, all right, let's go with the Baby Hulk versus uh, Turk first. Baby Hulk versus Turk. All right, so you can go ahead and call, like, heads or tails Let's say, I'll go tails. Tails. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll say we'll say head is turk, tails is baby. All right, let's get it. Tails. Right. This guy, you can't call, him, but you got the first call. All right, you got heads. That's turk. I got heads, man. So you gotta take a look at. You gotta take a look at turk. Yeah. Um, yeah. That that's that's not really difficult for me to do. Um, turk is an exceptional athlete. Uh, I mean, you guys don't know that about him. Yeah, I know you look, and he's long. He keeps the distance. He's got a real quick and stiff right hand. Uh, but the guy's extremely athletic. He's extremely intelligent uh, on the ground. This is a, a great contrast in, in style uh, from a guy that likes space and distance and, and uh, really likes to bring the action against a guy that likes to close the distance, um, likes to slow the pace down, and grind you into submission. So... You know, Turk's gonna have to gonna have to uh, keep his hips back, um, and, and and fight very long, um, you know, to keep him away. But I feel like people are underestimating, you know, Turk's overall athleticism and skill. I don't feel like this would be an occasion where someone would get on their back and just get pounded. I feel like both these gentlemen are skilled to a point. If a takedown occurs, that's not that's not into this fight by by no means. Okay, okay. I mean. I Look, baby Hulk. I mean, just like looking at his body starts because I stood beside him one time too. So he's like short, and me and Turk are about the same height. Um, but baby Hulk, like if he just works on getting straight, like straight punches, is sets up his jabs to get on the inside to work his body because Turk has a longer torso. If he can start working that body early and then get his takedowns, he could he could work the ground all day because it is. Like, one of my problems when I was fighting a small fighter is uh, grappling with them on the ground. They're just so, it's not difficult to handle them, but they are, like, more vulnerable to slip out triangles, chokes. Uh, so, I could, maybe Hulk could really, he could pull it out if he keeps his composure and keeps calm and keeps everything straight to a point. Right now, we're watching one of his fights. But we are. We're going to look at one of Turk's fights, too. We are. I'm uh, just taking a look at a little bit of everything here in the background. And then, of course, you have the other the other Street Beats matchup. Uh, I believe that was... Dreddy versus Rico. Dreddy and Rico. It's not Dreddy. It's... Daddy. I'm a, Daddy, there you go. Daddy the Puncher. I'm yeah. just going to call him the Puncher. <laughs> that man got a little swell. He's been at Street Beats for a little bit. <laughs> Definitely, um, you can watch some of his films. Oh, film. Watch some of his tapes and see that uh how well uh, how far he came along yeah yeah i was i was actually looking the other day at something uh something that he put in the facebook group and it just showed his uh 
his muscle definition change and, and the physique change on uh on that other puncher there and uh Dady the puncher and I just I was like wow man this guy's uh this guy's gotten better and I personally watched uh several of his Street Beast fights that's why me goofing his name up there I'm I'm gonna go ahead and apologize and tell him he can take it out on me in the yard uh, <laughs> for me butchering his name up like that and sorry I don't feel like searching anything in the search bar I'm doing it the long way here um, again, it's hot rolling with hell on wheels. You get a little lazy sometimes. Uh, I don't like spelling stuff. But hey, man, why is this guy not one of the first 20 fights that ever come on for you? Um, I'm about to say you only type it. Man, geek, man, you know I'm just trying to do it like this, and just because you would have you thought. No, man, no, you no, got no, the guy that can't spell spelling. Man, shoot, you, you got that right. Um, you definitely got that right. But, guys, I'm so looking forward to this Street Beast event. Um, I hear Jens Pulver might be back out there. Hey, Jens, man, if you watch my show, which you should, um, hit me up Hit me up on Saturday, man. I always bring my mouthpiece. Uh, another thing, we might um going to have to send out some some invitations. There he is right there. Daddy. Yeah. Um, send out some invitations or some RVSPs or however you say it. Um, and then he changed one? it to Daddy Daddy, Daddy Duck, Duck Puncher. Puncher. Okay. okay, he okay. did change it. I about to say because four months ago he was just Daddy, and it did change over. But he's had it, the, the the puncher there to end up for a while. Sorry, we butchered your name up, bro. Like yeah. I said, you didn't take it out on me in the yard all day. Right. Like, uh, but uh, we'd like to hold uh, something after the event. We have one of our fighters at a uh, neutral corner, Demon Boy family, uh, Leo. He's gonna be fighting. Parkersburg uh, Saturday. So after our fights, we're going to try to rush back here and, and watch his fights take off. At, I, I think what seven. Uh, so that pay per view is going to start at seven. I'm yeah, not yeah. sure where Leo is on the card quite yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and order that 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 pay per view event um, so that when we get back from Street Beats. So Miss Karen, if you're watching, man, try to get uh, try to get challenge and, and Hell on Wheels on the front side of the matchup card uh, so we can get back to the house, get ready for that. But uh, to any of my Demon Boys brothers out there watch the channel, um, y'all know how to get a hold of me. Uh, drop me something. Uh, let me know you're coming by, man, just so I can have food and, and, and refreshments on point for you. But, yeah, definitely big, big shout-out to King Leo. That's pro debut. Uh, he's going out of Parkersburg. He's repping that neutral corner. He's repping the Demon Boys, of course, repping Street Beast as the title holder. So uh, we really look forward to seeing Leo do his thing. And uh, been honored to have you guys come on over and uh, enjoy that with us. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was just gonna guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, um, yeah, he getting stuck in watching this <laughs> video there again, guys. This is high rolling with how long wheels. Sometimes yeah, the see, brain moves a little slow. Yeah, we got the dready fight going right now. He's fighting uh, nighttime guru. So it's like it's. I'd say nighttime guru is a decently skilled opponent. I mean, I don't know about like. Comparing him to Rico, though. I mean, I mean, yeah. what, 500 in the yard, 50-50 record, maybe 50 -50. a little below. I mean, it, it definitely good skill set, you know what I mean? Because um, he's taking on some tough opponents. It's not like every pony's had has been cupcake. And obviously, uh, with Daddy there, man, again, another matchup that wasn't. Um, but again, as I mentioned previously, man, they're just a change in his skill set over the four months, five months that he's been in Street Beefs. You take a look at it, man, and it's... Uh, it's nuts, and I like the guy personally. Uh, I've, I've spoken to him in advance. Uh, nice, nice fellow. Uh, very humble. Uh, you, you like to see that he's hungry just to, to keep getting in. I'm glad to see that you know he got a title opportunity. All right, let's get let's try to get this prediction going. All right, so head is Rico. Tails is Dirty Daddy. Right, um, I guess. Here, you flip for me then. So this on, one, whatever, whatever one it lands on, it's going to be me. He's got to try to be difficult. Whatever one it lands on is me. He's got to try to be difficult. Well, his I'm name, being difficult. You're the one spinning his name it. Is, He's spinning the coin. His I'm name is difficult. What is and that? And it's Tails. Tails. So I got Daddy. Matt. Okay. Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. I think, all right. For, I think, Daddy, you're going in under being underestimated. So, I... I for this, all you gotta do, if you keep yourself straight, 
Well, if he keeps his stuff straight, keeps his composure, and just handles his breathing, he'll catch Rico slipping. Um, because eventually he'll he'll slip and mess up to a point. We what? what? You see what he's doing there? He did it twice, and he could have followed. He threw it down. See, that time he finally uh, followed. Well, he has some he should, good, he has he some should, good things. I mean, but. Nah, but he should have followed. Yeah, he should have followed. Like he had the, he had the, he had. So the, my man's trying to throw me off my predictions. But, anyway, <laughs> but uh, nah, um, just keep your composure because I can already tell you got a lot of heart. You have, you have no quit, and it, it, it could be a problem for Rico. It really can be. All you just gotta do is make it seem like nothing's bothering you. <laughs> you might throw him off his game. You, I'm pretty sure you'd have him in the strength category. And you just got to keep your endurance the whole time because I don't know what you do. Like if you run or anything or what kind of cardio stuff you do to help you train. But um, I'd, I'd tire him out. I'd try to go 30 rounds with him and just take your time. Don't try to look for a knockout punch. Don't try to rush no submissions. Treat it like a spar and you're, you would go far. Um, I, could, I could see Dreddy taking it very close very close it would be it'd be a split decision but he could keep it up he got it go ahead what you got on some rico man rico honestly Ooh. man we've seen we've seen, we've seen rico Ooh. in uh we've seen rico in the yard a lot um rico's rico's a, a well-rounded guy um i mean he, he definitely uh he definitely doesn't mind working off his back top position. Um, he's he's got some, some slick skills with some submissions. You've seen a good bit of that from him. Um, obviously, he's got you know you got to worry about him both his hands and his feet. Um, although he may not showcase his, his stand up skills as much in the street view yard because he's been able to be so victorious uh, in other avenues. I, that doesn't mean the kid doesn't have hands. Um, he's a, he's a tough fight for anybody anybody um i believe that this is a contrast in styles i believe that he's gonna have to make this a, a more skillful fight um and not make it a dog fight for instance you know where you know a guy with a little more strength and size might be able to might be able to get you and that's what i mean by dog fight i'm not yeah. meaning that in any negative I kind know. of sense it's, it's just you know you know an old down and dirty scrap um sometimes that's it's a style of fight that you have, but what I'm saying is Rico can't have that. Rico's a clean, executed fighter. Um, you know, he already has a game plan. He has a skill set. Ain't nothing I'm going to say going to help that dude with nothing. Um, unless he wants to know how to throw straight jabs for three minutes straight. Maybe I can help him. But other than that, man, I think it's going to be a great matchup. I'm looking forward to it. I, You know, I like seeing... Uh, I like seeing some, some new blood getting an opportunity at, at the at the straps. Um you know, that's what's up, man. So it's going to keep Streebies fresh for the fans, keep Streebies fresh for the fighters, keep them, uh, keep them having something to, uh, to to come after. So very, very excited. Much less to that point, those homegrown Streebies guys that, you know, don't maybe have an am amateur organized background. Mm -hmm. uh, when you see them get that title shot and, and they're able to uh, be successful, that's what's up. But just getting a title shot, that's an honor in its own right. Oh God! He threw up. Yeah, I remember right. that. Watching, yeah. uh, ah. watching uh, nighttime guru there throw up. Nighttime guru. Next time you're at neutral corner, Loves man, man, you can work on your cardio, man. We we can we can sit down in the in the chair there and throw we're some OB. throw some one twos, man. Um, and, until you can't breathe, because ooh, that was rough. Watch you puke like Very that, old boy. Dan. Yeah, man. What up, Big Dan? Always oh, holler, Big Dan, man. Uh, Tuck McGurk, as you would know him as Street Beast. Uh, awesome, awesome Dr. dude. Burger. Yeah, yeah, that's how you say. It. Man, I'm butchering everybody's names, <laughs> fellas. Okay, but again, it's high rolling with hell on wheels. So, uh, yeah, it so ain't low rolling. So anymore. you absolutely have to forgive me. So, guys, you know, like I said, we got we got uh, we got our chill day tomorrow where we kind of get ready for our street beefs event. Uh, we're probably gonna kick that a little early this evening, just kind of start relaxing, getting getting into our own headspace. Uh, won't see too much of us on the social media deal. We will see you guys on Saturday. Um, I'm personally, like I said, I'm, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to get down. Uh, please, YouTube, remember, <laughs> it's Street Beefs, so it's glove up or shut up. There's no reason for keyboard nonsense. Uh, just just holler at the dude, man. It's called the Ellen Wheels Challenge. Let's get this money. 
Um, remember, my man Jesse Spartan, make sure you go hit that link. Let's help that young man get a sports chair so yeah. that he can get out there and compete on a, on a monthly basis there at Street Beef South. I would love nothing more than that. Uh, then to see some other guys get out there on a month-to-month -month basis and scrap it out. I'm an old dude, man. I don't want to keep getting punched in the head all the time. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm not old, but I don't, I don't like getting hit in the head too much. See, that's why he's just growing that fro out, man. It's yeah, like so it's it on pillow or padding. Man, I'm working on it, but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Soon. Whoa. <laughs> uh, shout out my girl Morgan Sports Clips. She'll oh, have this God. spike on point on Saturday. Big, big shout out, Morgan, to Sports Clips, my homegirl, as always. All right, guys. Well, if you don't know, ask, ask mother. your mother. And as always, get, get that, that money. money. Hey.